On the Vonley topic, JL, it's another another topic that that I brought up on the last show. Would you trade him? No. Would you trade him at the deadline if if they if you can net if you can net an early two or late one? Would you trade Vonley right now at I'm the way he's that. playing? If you nope. think you might not be able to sign him, I mean, if I, if he's, if he's giving you vibes that he don't he doesn't want to come back or he's not gonna resign with you, then yes. But um, as far as production, I w- I wouldn't trade him. I would keep him. He plays defense one through four. Yeah, he, he does all the all the little things, and every now and again he can take over a, a quarter for you. Or, see, or, I, I see, I see a lot of yeses That's in the best. chat. Yeah, I, I would actually sign. I would resign him. I feel like. As far as the depth chart, who I'm most who I'm most sure about talent wise, mm-hmm. and what they bring to this team, like as cool as Moody has been playing, he still has holes in his game. I know Vonley has holes in his game too, but I feel like there's more use for Vonley, and there's a lot more, you know, there's a lot more um, room to get like a Moody, yeah, or another point guard here. That's true. I think I'm not sure if there's a lot of Von- I'm not sure if there's a lot of room to get another Vonley. Yeah. I would still gauge the market though. I would still gauge the market and, and see how it plays out. You know, you never know. You might see a, a, a maybe a Houston, maybe um, maybe Lakers. Um, one of the one of these Philly Philly. He was rumored for Philly. Shout out Dave Early with um, Dave is a uh, a Philly Sixers blogger who who had mentioned some, that. You think somebody's gonna give him a, a first for him? I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Think of a contending team who is who is uh, cap strapped. You know, looking to make a run and doesn't really mind right. parting with a late round pick like a, a to first, get some depth. Might, like a first, you might have to consider it. But um, I do it for. I do it for a late first. I do it. You might have to consider that a second. Hell, nah. Yeah. At the very least, you got to listen, right? At the very least, you gotta listen. That's all I'm saying. Just, just listen. You never know. How many, he's like, how many Swiss Army knives are there out there? Yeah, he's not. He's he's our best not player. He's our That's best not a player. Lot. I'm not sure. And yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's a lot. You, to pull from. you could argue he's he's been the MVP of the season for this team so far. Uh, for this ten yeah. win team, <laughs> if if there was an MVP, it, it would yeah. probably be him. Yeah, but but yeah. A, a late first would be nice, man. A late first would be nice. Um, I don't know if yeah, I don't. Know, I don't see that happening. A late first. Yeah. Never mm. know. Never know. All right, let's go to Ari. Ari. Was- to Vonley, you know, I personally would keep him. I wouldn't trade him unless I could attach Courtney Lee or Tim Hardaway to him somehow. Um, okay. He he definitely. You know, I think I think he could guard fives, but like you said, Embiid is um. Is is a, is a unique beast, yes, but um, different matchup, man. You know, you, I, I gotta ask you guys something. Mm-hmm. Of Vonley, Cornet, Moutier, we'll throw in Burke and Hazonia. If you could only keep one of them, who would you who would you keep? Oof. He said he said Vonley. And consider the money involved. So consider Burke. that like. You said Vonley, Vonley will, Moutier, will cost, Cornette, you know, let's say, seven million Burke bucks. and Hazonia. Oh, right Cornette. now it's between, between you might Vonley be- and Cornette, really. And Cornette is, is coming on pretty – it might be Cornette at this point, actually. Um, but um, it's, it's, to me, it's Vonley, I think it might- Vonley and Cornette. Could very well be Cornette, you know, because he's going to be the cheapest. You, you might end up, depending on what they how they prioritize his money – I believe Vonley is only getting um, maybe one and a half million, if I'm not mistaken. But he's going to end up getting a big pay raise. Um, Cornette's also getting, I think, 1.5. But Vonley may end up going above the Knicks' budget, depending on what they have for him. I don't know. Like, Here, we don't here's know. A, here's the thing, CP. If, mm-hmm. if, Von, if Cornette keeps putting up 23 points against Premier Centers. <laughs> That's true, too. Man. And playing defense. Yeah. Then his price can go up as well. Yeah, his price might go up as well, man. It's a good question. Uh, it's yeah, that, it's going to come down to, to those two, like, I believe, though. With, yeah, yeah. I think it, with the money involved, yeah. I think it'd probably be Cornet because he'd be significantly cheaper than Vonley and Moutier. I've been calling calling this in the entire time. I want to self-proclaim myself. The president of the trade, Timmy Jr. <laughs> fan club over here. Listen, um, listen, listen. Great, go ahead, Jails. Um, go ahead, Jails. 
There's a lot of people gunning for that title, dog. You're not. <laughs> there's, there's like six, seven, eighty. Carlito, 